G'day guys, this is Nick from Those Hairy Gamers and this is PAX Melbourne. Yes, greetings all. I spent my Saturday wandering around PAX and decided rather than having our regular scheduled video today, I would record some of my adventure for your amusement. I went along with a couple of the guys from Bad at Video Games. They very nicely let me use their equipment and they helped with filming too, so cheers to Stellark and Josh from Bad at Video Games. For those of you who don't know, PAX is a yearly gaming convention held in my local city of Melbourne. It features displays from major retailers, manufacturers, as well as a whole slew of gaming panels and gaming related activities for the convention goers to enjoy. Now I would like to point out that I would have loved to have done a full comprehensive batch of footage from all three days of the convention. But the truth is I got the ticket for this way before I even planned on making this YouTube channel, so that's just how it panned out. I really enjoyed myself and intend to go back next year and do the whole thing, but this is just a nice little peek into the one day I managed to go this year. We started out the day with a panel from the guys over at Penny Arcade. Now, for those of you who don't know, Penny Arcade is this amazingly funny webcomic. Uh, the panel was done by Mike Krahulik, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, who is the artist. And while the panel was going on, he was actually drawing a comic live, and that was just awesome to see his process. Meanwhile, Jerry Holkins, the writer, was doing a bit of a Q&A on stage just to sort of entertain the crowd while that was going on in the background. That was a lot of fun. As somebody who wants to spend their time doing creative stuff for a living, it was really fascinating to hear the process of what it's like to have an idea and get it fleshed out and out to the consumers. It's really cool. These guys pump out a lot of really cool stuff. I think the highlight of the panel for me was when Mike's Windows tablet decided to restart and do an update in the middle of him drawing something. That was quite amusing and added to the stress of him having to draw a comic in a certain allotted time, live on stage as well. From there we went into the main hall where all the various companies were showing off their latest wares. Now, this is where I ran into someone really cool. This is a YouTuber named Blunty. This is a guy I've been following for about 10 years. He specialised mainly in tech reviews for cameras and computer hardware, but he also dabbles in Let's Plays and other gaming related content. We don't really cover tech on this channel, so if you want to see all the cool tech stuff from PAX, go over to his channel because I'm sure in the next couple of days he'll be posting something out. Are you enjoying PAX this? Uh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm feeling a little bit worse for today because I got uh, back to the hotel room about 4 a.m. last night. Thank you Twitch for the fantastic party by the way. <laughs> I'm uh, pushing through the pain today. Yeah, I, I can hear it in your voice, man. I can hear it in your voice. Um, I got the smile my voice is almost gone. I'm surprised I can talk at all. It's also worth noting that we bought both our capture cards that we use for this channel on Blunty's recommendation. His tech reviews are really, really useful for this kind of stuff. Um, just big props to this guy. He was really approachable, really nice to have met him, and I hope to see him in other conventions so I can do this again. We also got to check out a heap of new games, lots of trailers and stuff playing on the side of booths. Uh, most notably, in my opinion, there's a new Quake and Dawn of War title coming out. Awesome! Can't wait to play those. We also got to check out some new games to actually play. Here's some footage of me and Josh from Bad Out Video Games playing the new Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It was a lot of fun, but personally I thoroughly sucked at it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Last but not least, I'd like to thank Michael and Lindsay from Achievement Hunter for saying hi and signing my PAX Pass. I don't think I really need to introduce Achievement Hunter, but for those of you who've been living under a YouTube-proof rock, check out their Let's Plays. They are seriously funny. Uh, they are part of a bigger company known as Rooster Teeth, who, like Blunty, have been around since YouTube's inception. These guys have been a huge inspiration on everything I do here at Those Hairy Gamers, so I can't thoroughly recommend their stuff enough. I didn't care that I had to wait two and a half hours to see them, it was totally worth it. So yeah, I had such an awesome time at PAX. Next year I'm going to drag Matt along and we're going to do the full three days and do a full coverage thing because this was a lot of fun. This video is very much new territory for us in terms of content for our channel, so tell us what you think. Did you enjoy my little peek into PAX Melbourne 2016? If so, I'd be more than happy to do it again. Alright, catch you later guys.